The chest and lungs is one of the biggest fields of medicine. But do you know how to pronounce the terms correctly? In this video, I'm going to show you how so you can succeed in your career in English. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are the world's leading medical English provider, so you are in the right place. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because if you do, we've got a gift for you. And if you want more help with your medical English, check out our courses, the links below. We've got the perfect one for you. Let's begin. So what terms do you know relating to the chest? Here are some common terms. But can you pronounce them? It's a good idea to mark the stressed syllables like this. Now let's practice. Listen and repeat. Breastbone, cartilage, thorax, manubrium, xiphoid process. As you probably know, there are many Latin and Greek terms for medical terminology. Here are some for the chest. For example, using chondros, meaning cartilage, we can make chondrotomy, incision into the cartilage. Thoraso, meaning chest, makes thoracodynia, chest pain. And costa, meaning rib, we can use to make costectomy, the removal of a rib. Do you know any more? Take a look at these images. Can you label them? And here are the answers. Costochondritis. Flail chest, pleural effusion, barrel chest, pectus excavatum. So how did you do? Before we continue, if you'd like to know more terms like this, why not check out our course, Medical Terminology. It's packed full of terms to help you succeed in your career, including more on the chest, with medical vocabulary and activities to help you remember, and of course, help with your pronunciation. The link is below. Now let's look at some medical terms relating to respiratory sounds. Here are some more Latin and Greek terms. Can you think of any words? For example, we have pleur, meaning lung, and we can make pleurisy. Or we could combine bronchus, airway, and phony, sound to make bronchophony, loud sounding lungs and airways. So now let's take a closer look at the prefix pulmon. How many words can you make using this prefix? Let me know in the comments below. So we have pulmonology, which is a noun, the field of medicine relating to the respiratory system. And we have another noun, pulmonologist, which is a doctor specialising in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases of the respiratory system. And we've also got pulmonary, which is an adjective meaning relating to the respiratory system. So common terms using this word would be pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Now, can you match these terms to their definitions? Pause the video now. And here are the answers. Bronchophony, abnormally loud sounds over the lungs and airways. Egophony is a harsh sound heard in pleural effusion. Rals, crepitation, crackle sound in the lungs. Ronchi is wheezing, high-pitched sounds caused by narrowed airways. Strider, high-pitched sound from the larynx or windpipe. Wheezing high-pitched sound in laboured breathing and asthma, whispered pectoriloquy, increased voice sounds heard when whispering during auscultation with a stethoscope. So in the video, I mentioned the condition COPD. What other respiratory conditions do you know? Let me know in the comments below. And congratulations on getting to the end of the video. You can now get your free handout. Simply write chest below and we'll send you the link. And if you like this video, why not check out our other video on the heart here.
See you next time. Bye. And why not check out our courses? We've got... And if you like this video, why not check out our video on the heart here? Ah, oh, the intonation was all weird. <laughs> and congratulations on getting to the end of the... Ah! What am I saying? Woo! <laughs>